Hey, what's up? Rich Van Tassel back with you, giving you the recap of the Houston Rockets, 113-109 to over the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, again, I missed most of this game. I was watching the Bruins game. I did catch some, specifically the Andre Robertson disaster at the free throw line. We'll get into that in a moment. Um, Oklahoma City really has got to be kicking themselves. You look at the way some of these starters played. Patrick Beverly, 2 of 13, 6 points. James Horton, 5 of 16, 0 of 7 from three-point land. You kept him in the line only seven times, which is very uncommon the way he can get to the free-throw line. 16 points. Trevor Ariza did have 14, uh, but Ryan Anderson only 9, Clint Capella only 4. Um, 4 of 10 between Anderson and Capella, so they really held things down against the starters. The bench just flat-out killed the Oklahoma City Thunder. Nene, 28 points, 12 of 12 shooting. Uh, from the field, four of seven free throws, ten rebounds, one assist, one steal. Uh, Eric Gordon and Lou Williams, both 18 points, both five of 13 shooting. So 10 of 26 between the two of them. Uh, again, isn't great. The shooting percentages just weren't necessarily there for the Houston Rockets. They were 37 of 85, 43.5%. Then they shot 12 of 12. You take that off, they are 25 of 73 just not good at all. 11 of 35 from three-point land is, you know, adequate, but still under the 33.3% threshold. Uh, Nene was plus 24, so really that was the difference. You look at Clint Capella, minus 25. Nene, his replacement, plus 24. Let's see if that's something moving forward in this series and the playoffs. But frankly, the bench just destroyed the Oklahoma City Thunder in this game. For them, Taj Gibson did not have a good game, only 6 points. Andre Robertson did have 13 points on 5 of 9 shooting, 1 of 2 from 3. You got the shooting percentages you want from the floor, but 2 of 12 from the free throw line. They went to the hack of Robertson. Uh, Billy Donovan did not take him out of the game, and I, you know, you could probably point to that as being one of the key reasons that Oklahoma City failed in this game. But to me, it was all about the bench. Russell Westbrook, again, not that good shooting. 10 of 28, 3 for 8 from the 3, 12 of 13 from the line. 14 rebounds, 14 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Did have 5 turnovers, 35 points. He was plus 14, though. So even with those shooting numbers, he still uh, you know, basically did the job. And then you look at the bench for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Grant had 10 points, 5 for McDermott, 2 for Cantor. Uh, five for Abreens, Norris Cole missed all three shots, didn't have a point, only had one rebound. So minus three, minus one, minus nine, minus 18, minus nine for the bench players going Grant, McDermott, Cantor, Cole, and Abreens. You look plus 24, plus 18, plus 10 for the Houston Rockets bench who only played three guys. So uh, a lot to talk about. I would say the, the free throw situation, not taking Robertson out, you know, you got to do it and hope that you can shut down James Horden. Again, though, Robertson had a good game against James Horden. Horden only had, as we said, 16 points on 5 of 16 shooting and wasn't getting to the line either. So he was doing it without fouling. But, you know, he, frankly, he's got to shoot better than 2 of 12. I, You know, as, as bad as some of these guys are, as bad as Robertson usually is, you just can't be, you know, that awful. But it gets into their head, I would say. And that was really a big difference in this game. But at the end of it, to me, it was all about Nene Hilario in this game doing the job. Like we said, didn't miss a shot, 28 points. I mean, you you can't let a guy like Nene go off like that. You know, he could go off, get you in the area of 20 points. But to not miss a shot, have 28, it's, it's really unacceptable. So Oklahoma City is down 3-1 and certainly facing a tough hill to climb. All right, the Celtics and the Bulls are starting in just a little bit. We'll give you the recap of that when it goes finals. Thank you.